Yeah. Break time. I'm aware. No. It's time to bleed the brakes. Let's do it. You might be wondering why we're doing a video specifically on bleeding a brand new brake system. That is a tongue twister. I will mess it up. Uh, that's because that specifically, a, a totally dry system can be a bit of a bear and using your old school traditional brake bleeding techniques won't really get the job done. I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks, help you get it done quick. Let's do it. Okay, before we get too far, make sure you get the right brake fluid. If you look at the top of your master cylinder cover, you see right there it says dot four. So we've got dot four. Make sure you're using the right brake fluid for the right application. First thing you want to do, pop that bleeder valve open. Make sure you got something on there to catch any brake fluid that comes out. And let's go take a look inside the master. Come on. So I've got some protection here to make sure that we're not going to spill brake fluid everywhere. And I've got water in a spray bottle in case we do, just to wash away the brake fluid so it doesn't uh, take any paint away. What I'll do is I'll just add some brake fluid. And then I'm going to sit here. I'm going to pump. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to pump for a few minutes. And then I'm going to grab a zip tie. Hold it like that. And then we wait. This is called gravity bleeding. We're leaving the screw open and we're leaving the lever pinched and we're just going to have the brake fluid slowly drain through there. We'll come back in an hour or two and we'll do it again. This can be a time consuming process. Patience is a virtue. So I'm wasting my life away here pumping the lever and I'm doing this video under the assumption that you know how to bleed brakes, but you're having trouble with a new system. So I've been pumping for a while and the bubbles have started to slow down. And what I did was I checked. I held the lever and I opened the bleed screw and some fluid came out. So that's telling me that we have fluid throughout the system, but there are still bubbles coming out slowly. Now the trick to help you get those bubbles out faster is close your bleed screws, pump your brakes up, grab a zip tie, and hold your lever closed. And leave it like that for a couple hours overnight if you want. What that does is it compresses all those air bubbles really small, and those smaller air bubbles travel throughout the system easier. So if you come back in a couple hours, likely they will all have risen to the top and they'll come out once you cut it. And then you'll have really good brake feel. So that's our little trick for today. Man, wasn't that awesome? Didn't we learn so much? Didn't we fix so many motorcycles? If you wanna see more videos like this, if you wanna see me fixing more stuff, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, follow along. If there's a video you wanna see, if there's a question you wanna ask, leave it down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer anything you got. We do these videos for you guys. Any feedback you can give us only helps us make better videos for you. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later.